What's up guys, today we'll be showing you how you can step up as a beginner in photography and filmmaking for your next shoot using the trusty monopod. When starting out, you'd usually go into the market looking for a reliable tripod. But that's the thing, reliable tripods are quite expensive, and you wouldn't want to break the bank when starting out, and certainly, you don't have to. Monopods are not only cheaper compared to a tripod, but they also allow you to achieve great camera movement, rigs, and tons of stability. Here are three ways you can creatively use your monopod. First up would be using your monopod as a light stand. Sometimes lighting a scene could use up all available stands. Having a monopod could actually mean having an extra light stand when you need that extra fill. This one could go up to 6 feet covering all the right angles to hit your subject. With the Cobra 3 series that we have here, we have two thread options that we can utilize. For some smaller lights, you can just go ahead and mount them on the thread of the monopod. For larger lighting fixtures, first you'll need a lighting spigot. Attach it to the top of the monopod, then enjoy mounting whatever light that you need with just one simple adapter. Now, the second creative way of using your monopod is by using it as a boom pole. Buying an actual boom pole could be very expensive and it turns out that the boom pole doesn't really have any other uses except for, well, you know, being a boom pole. Bummer, right? If you can, remove the bottom of the top parts of your monopod. I'm currently using one from the Cobra 3 series of iFootage. Insert a thread adapter. Extend the monopod to its full length, making sure that it's locked in place. Attach the microphone to the end of the monopod using the thread. Connect the microphone to your recording device. Position the boom pole. Hold the monopod with one hand and use the other hand to position the microphone as close to the subject as possible without getting in the shot. You can also adjust the angle of the microphone to get the best audio. Finally, a unique way of using your monopod is using it to achieve unique camera movements. You can loosen up the ball head below which makes this really achievable. After doing so, position your camera and monopod near to your body. That way you can move the monopod with stability as it moves with your whole body. With this, you'll be able to achieve smooth handheld movements that if used correctly can resemble gimbal-like movements. Not to mention, you can use the bottom of the monopod being detachable as a tabletop mini tripod which you can use to get nice and stable footage. Overall, monopods are something that you should not skip out on. That way, as a beginner, you can achieve more and have tons of aspects to experiment on as you learn using your monopod. When you're starting out, it is a must to have a monopod since you can really use it all around the set and outdoors. Some even use it as a walking stick when shooting on a hike. Hopefully, this video will help you decide on getting a monopod yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more tips and tricks like these. And I will most definitely catch you on the next one. Thank you so much and bye-bye!